Hi, my name's Judy. And I'm Sassy. And together we are Two, Two Girls, Girls on a Mic. mic. Do, 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 elevator music. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Two Ghouls on a Mic. Mm -hmm. This is our spooky season series where we're going to talk about spooky things from things that have scared us yeah. to like urban, urban legends, legends mm -hmm. other people's paranormal experiences. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. Yeah, maybe we'll go to a haunted house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we maybe. already have one, my house. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Why, why go to another one? Right? Yeah, we have an update for you guys. We'll get to that later. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, we're excited to bring this different series. It's same premise that our podcast is. We're talking right. about stuff that intrigues us, mm -hmm. but we're just making it more spooky. Yeah, more the specific season. to the yeah, yeah. to the season. But. <laughs> So yeah. hopefully you guys like it. Um, if you didn't see our Instagram already, we have a new logo yes. for the month, and we have stickers. Holographic yeah. stickers. <laughs> they so, should be coming soon. But yeah. when this episode drops, we should have them or they should be close to yeah. so getting we'll, delivered. We'll do a post of how you could get your hands on one of them. Yep. So yes. Look forward to that. But if I sound a little different, I'm a little sick. <laughs> so to catch up on the week. <laughs> <laughs> to catch up on the week, um, I came back from Florida, which was really fun. Mm -hmm. Um, if you want to see that, I'll probably put some reels on my Instagram. Probably not going to be up yet, but <laughs> <laughs> eventually, eventually they'll get there. <laughs> Yesterday we went to Horror Nights. Which... Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> it was so fun, but so tiring. We There's... got home like at three in the morning almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was, it was fun. There was a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I think it's just gotten more popular oh, over sure. the years. Mm -hmm. And what was your favorite maze that we did? The weekend. The weekend yeah, maze was really good. I wasn't <laughs> expecting a lot of, from it, but mm -hmm. it was really good. Yeah. I like the weekend. I also like the Blumhouse one just because I like the two movies. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would have liked it if I didn't know the two movies. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was fun. A lot of people. We got some churros. <laughs> yeah. We ended the night with churros. So those were delicious. Yeah. And it's so funny how like we were hot the whole time. And then when we got in the car, it was like freezing. freezing. <laughs> yeah. Because we weren't around many people by that time. Yeah. But I was like, I'm always like, no, don't take a sweater because I'm going to be hot. You're not even going to wear it. And then yeah, you have when to carry it around. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'll suffer for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, if you didn't notice, we're cats today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> every day, I'm like, oh, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Every episode that we have this month. So yeah. the four, four episodes four, that three, we four, five. Four or five. Four? Well, however, like many, however many Wednesdays there are in October, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're dressing up as something different. So yep. today we're cats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but other than that, this week has been fine. Just me recovering. My, mm. I can't hear that well. So hopefully this edit comes out good for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But for me, it's been pretty chill i haven't really done a lot uh we went to horror nights yesterday which is like the highlight of my week but so far it's just you know catching up with sleep because yeah. oh and i finally for like the million time i got back to like eating healthy and like mm. going to the gym because these past month something has always come up where either i, w I had covid at one point i got better but then i got my eyebrows done and i couldn't work out and then I got sick again mm -hmm. right after. So I could, like, it was just on and off. And before I got COVID, I was so consistent. I was seeing like my weight drop because I was measuring myself. And mm -hmm. I was like, I'm so pissed. <laughs> I'm like, so upset. I'm like, I'm not even going to measure myself because I know I didn't lose anything. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm getting back into like working out and going on walks and doing all that stuff. But yeah, so yeah. far, so good. So I think it's been a week and a half. That I've been consistent. Mm. So, oh, and then look at our cute cups. I know. I keep touching it. <laughs> they match our uh, costume today. So today we're talking about things that Wait, scared before us. Before we get to that, oh, yeah. Thankful <laughs> Thursday. You're skipping Thankful Thursday. I'm thankful that we're over this segment. I'm, just <laughs> I'm thankful that we went to Horror Nights because I had not yeah. been to Horror Nights since probably like 2015. So mm. it was like way prior to Joey. So. Mm. I'm, I'm glad I finally went and yeah, it's really fun, but I forget how much walking and waiting you have to do. Yeah. I checked yeah. my steps and it was like, I did like 15,000 steps or mm -hmm. something like that. I was like, hmm. 
<laughs> impressive. <laughs> impressive. I'm thankful for that too. Hey. I'm thankful that Millie's gonna quiet down within the next <laughs> few seconds. <laughs> um, but I'm thankful that I'm back home with Freddie. I miss Freddie so much. The Aww. whole trip we were over there, we had to FaceTime his dad every day. Aww. And like he sometimes he would hear us and like tilt his head at the screen. Aww. I was like, mm. And now he has separation anxiety. So, oh, baby. <laughs> so we got to work on that. But it's okay. <laughs> Who doesn't? <I'll> <laughs> <laughs> Even us as humans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so why do you think we get dogs? <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, this week we're talking about things that have scared us when we were younger or maybe things that still may scare us. Because yeah. a lot of, well, not some of the things that used to scare me as a child. It like it comes with you into adulthood, but some stuff like doesn't. Yeah, so like yesterday that we were at Hard Nights, uh, they had clowns there. And if you don't know, I fucking hate clowns. <laughs> and the tram area had, what was his name? Harry? Henry? Harry? I think it was Harry, the clown. Something like that. Uh, everywhere I looked, he would just like pop up. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I hate this. <laughs> and they had a maze. Specific, what is the killer clown? The clowns? killer clown. But we ended yeah. up not going because it was always a long wait. Like, I would have gone it was on like it, over but, two hours. Yeah, <laughs> like, not worth it if I don't like clowns. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe yeah. that would have been worth it because it's the scariest one. Mm, for, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Next well, <thank> time. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like, and you know, it's funny because today we're recording this on the day Hocus Pocus 2 came out. Oh, yeah. I was terrified of the Hocus Pocus witches for really? a little bit. Not because of the movie. Mm. The movie didn't scare me, but I had a dream, and I remember this dream so vividly. Mm. We, The house I grew up in, it had, like, a gate to the side, a white gate okay. that would lead into the driveway in the backyard. Mm -hmm. And every day when my dad would come home, I would wait for him because he would let me sit on his lap and, like, pretend to drive. Oh, okay. And so in this dream, it was nighttime, and I was waiting for my dad, and I like climbed the fence and I looked over and the witches were coming, but they looked like creepy. Yeah, it wasn't like the movie witches, mm. but I knew that like they had the same colors and like the, the outfits. outfits. So I was mm. like, oh, it's the Pocus Witch. And they were like coming out the door and I was like, mm. I was, like freaking out. Huh, that, yeah, it scared me for a while. I like couldn't watch the movie. But, oh, really? Yeah. But now obviously that's. <laughs> I bought yeah, a shirt of them the other day. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I, I mentioned, the first one was clowns. And it's just, I've always found them super creepy. I don't know exactly what triggered it or how I got to being scared I know, of them. I know a lot of people have that, though, like a fear mm, of clowns. They're just like super creepy. Because I remember like one of the like the famous clowns for us in our culture is Sepin. And I never found him creepy. Mm. But I don't know, like... It's just so weird. Some, and it might be the person too, honestly, because there's like clowns yeah, who just look just creepy. It can be a creepy man, you know, mm. and that may may be the reason. I may have seen like a creepy clown. Like Gacy. Yeah, <laughs> like mm, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, not all clowns trigger me, but like there's some that are just you know, they just look weird. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. like mm, I don't know, there's something off about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think I ever was a. F like scared to get of clowns mm -hmm. they are creepy but i don't think it's like not how you were mm -hmm. so i'm like i think i can handle it but the movie that i saw when i was younger there's two it's mm -hmm. the tooth fairy and darkness falls tooth fairy with wayne johnson no no <laughs> <laughs> the scary movie oh, okay tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> and like all i remember is they, they were like dark like cloaked people it doesn't mm. look that scary but as a kid oh yeah i was like oh my god and i was like the tooth fairy is gonna like try to kill me when it's coming to take my money <laughs> my money my teeth and so those movies stuck with me i haven't watched the tooth fairy since and i don't want to mm, interesting <laughs> yeah, so, well, spooky. you know as a kid so i'm not like super into spooky movies mm -hmm. but i remember as a kid like chucky i would love watching yeah and then the leprechaun one. <laughs> like, those two, I, I would have, like, when I, my uncle would babysit us, I would have him put it on because my parents would not let me watch it. But my <laughs> uncle, he was so cool. And he would put it on for us. And I used to love those movies. But I haven't seen them since. I feel like I should. I need, to, I need to watch them again. And I always TV wanted a there. doll. <laughs> Growing up, I was I always wanted a Chucky doll. My parents never got one. I'm like, maybe they knew what they were. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Bloody Mary, mm. that one always creeped me out. Specifically, not in like in our in 
my home restroom the school the restroom. school <laughs> restroom especially when there's nobody there uh-huh i would hate going to the restroom and it was like empty because i would freak yeah. out and i don't know why i would always think of bloody mary when <laughs> like, you went to like literally restroom. i was not thinking of her and then when i got there like the i guess it just it, it gives like a creepy vibe yeah. when it's an empty restroom uh-huh. and i would always think about her and i'm using the restroom like don't think about her don't say her name don't say her name (laughs) so yeah i hated going to school restrooms alone because that would just trigger that yeah i feel like every school or at least elementary school has like a story of bloody mary because that just reminded me of mine Mm -hmm. where a girl said that she went in there she saw her like in the Mm -hmm. corner of the restroom which that's not even how it works but (laughs) (laughs) but that reminded me that the we there was a house next to our elementary school and their backyard had a fence but it was like one of those um the diamond fences oh, okay. so you could see like everything the wire in the ones. backyard mm-hmm. yeah and i remember one day we were all playing by the house and there was a polaroid of a picture and i don't know cuz it was like a dirt backyard the house probably Honestly, that I think about it, I don't think anybody was living there cuz it mm-hmm. looked like a beat down mm-hmm. house mm-hmm. but there was a polaroid of like a girl that looked very creepy. Like, her eyes had, like, black um, mm. eyeshadow. Or maybe it wasn't eyeshadow. Dirt, maybe. But, yeah, mm-hmm. I remember we all saw it, and we ran to our class. <laughs> I feel like every elementary has, like, a, a story creepy like that, yeah. house. Because I remember when my elementary, where the play area was, mm-hmm. right next to it, there was, it was a pink house, I remember. And I never saw anybody come in or out of that house, mm. ever. <laughs> But then again, they might have been at work, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but they, the windows were like it had like spider webs. Like mm. it was, you know, it, they weren't getting, it wasn't getting taken yeah. care of. And you can see like bottles, like mm. like old, like where you would see like potions and stuff like that oh. on the window. I'm like, it's a witch house. <laughs> it's so weird. And I never, and it's to this day, it's still there. And I never see people there. Really? And I'm like, huh. <laughs> and I'm like, I, and I think about it, I'm like, I wonder if kids still have that story yeah. where, like, you know, like, years now, it's like, oh, it's still going. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, my next one, and it still is relevant to today, <laughs> is bugs. My aunt, Gabby, she loved to mess with me as a kid. Mm. And she told me one night that she saw a spider, because we, her and I have shared rooms a lot, especially when we were at the first house. Mm-hmm. So it was me and her sharing a room. There was only one bed, so we would sleep together and she told me that one night she saw a spider climb into my mouth while i was sleeping <laughs> and you know they say that you in eat a eight lifetime, spiders <laughs> yeah so a year not a lifetime <laughs> damn how many have you oh my god no i don't extra protein but um <laughs> yeah she told me that one day and I, my dad was right there next to me so i was like is that true i don't know why he would know but he went along with it he's like mm-hmm, you I, feel ate like the spider. I can see i can see yeah. that being <laughs> that person <laughs> So ever since then, I hate spiders. I can't do it. Mm-hmm. And to make it worse, there was another. I was already older, like middle school. Mm-hmm. We there was a black widow in our backyard, and mm-hmm. my dad went out there with a broom, smashed it. It was pregnant. So like a bunch of babies started oh, crawling no. everywhere. Oh, dude, I get the chill. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. gross. I hate spiders. I, I can't do spiders. Mm-hmm. Even um, the little ones, even the daddy long legs. Yeah, I don't I can't care do if they're it. good for us. I'm yeah, just... no. I always like Derek. I need you to take care of this. <laughs> He, but he has one spider in our restroom in our that he leaves alone. That he leaves alone. He calls her Patrice, because like, he she eats the mosquitoes. Mm. So I'm like, I guess sure, <laughs> but we can only have one. She's working for her rent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that reminds me. Uh, I think Derek caused this fear of mine, where he said, I forgot what he was telling me, but he said um, that sometimes there's snakes that crawl up the, like the toilet and they and, and i got the fear that i because we sit to yeah. pee right we're not like we're not guys we're not yeah stand. <laughs> so i'm like what if there's a snake there i'm like in the middle of the night i'm you know you're half asleep you go pee you sit down and then like the snake bites Goes. you down there <laughs> I'm just like, mm. oh w- something that would always get me as a kid and even till now it's when you would go to sleep and you you had a window and it was night and you knew there was nothing there but because yeah. there was a tree or like a shadow look weird it's scary you would convince yourself that it was somebody there I'm like it's nobody it's just a tree it's just a tree yeah. and in my head I was like no it's not no it's not <laughs> even to this day luckily the way our bedroom is set up we don't see the window 
Mm. So I don't have that fear. <laughs> but whenever I'm in, when I was sleeping in Joey's room, uh-huh. I hate it because we have a tree right there with a yeah. the long ass branch, and I, oh, I hated it in there. <laughs> and I was just like, I can't even close the blinds or close the window because it was hot. Yeah. So I'm like, well, now I should turn around, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that reminds me of like the the memes that are like, what are you? What's the ghost gonna do if you're just hiding under your blanket? <laughs> but it makes you feel safe. Also, haunted houses. I, like, during Halloween time specifically, Mm -hmm. obviously didn't carry on (laughs) because I like them now. But there was one year where, and it wasn't even a full-on haunted house. We were just Mm trick-or-treating. And there was a garage that was, like, slightly open Mm. from the bottom. And I was like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go, like, ask for anything because the people were next to the garage. And we had heard screaming from that area. So we were like, okay. And so my mom, this was when Alex was a baby. So she was in her stroller. Mm -hmm. And we went up there and the garage so quick open and a person with one of those chainsaws came and like was scary. My mom was so mad. She she yelled at the guy. She's like, my baby was in her stroller. What if she would have freaked out? Like, uh, it's funny now, like to look back on. But it's true, though. Like, if you see a family, like smaller, (laughs) like if they're older, I can't get it. Mm -hmm. But if they're like super young, I mean, like if somebody (laughs) would do that to Joey, I'd be pissed, too. Like, come on, Duke. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that one scared me. (laughs) (laughs) That one scared me. I got over it, though. (laughs) Mm, mm, Oh, so in our culture, like the whole, um, you know, God, devil, they're getting possessed and stuff is a big thing. So I always was scared that I would get possessed and then I would have to get an exorcism done. (laughs) And I don't know why I had that fear. I don't even know what, uh, probably just my parents talking about mm-hmm. it. And I'm just like, oh, I don't want to get possessed. Because <laughs> I don't want to go through the whole exit. Because I've seen the movie and I'm like, that's what I ha- would have to go through. That's like, what you would look like. Mm, that's now, you. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm good now. I think I'm fine. I don't think you I'll don't get, think possessed. get possessed. I don't think so. Isn't and if I do, oh, well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I mean, what am I going to do? It's like, Derek, you said you wanted a, a demon. Oh. <laughs> Here I am. Because <laughs> he's always said that like he want he would want to see a demon or something along those lines. I'm like, mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> That's how I feel about Ouija boards. Not I using would them. Never. Yeah, I would I never use a Ouija board. I would. I wouldn't either. Like I, I've heard stories of like people I know who've used them, and obviously I don't know if it's real or not mm-hmm. because they could obvi- they could be messing with me. Right. Right. But mm-hmm. I forgot who. I think it was my Denise's dad or brother or something mm. like that or their cousin i don't know it was somebody and they said that they used it and their mom got mad at them obviously because mm. they're using a right. ouija board in uh-huh. her house and she told them to throw it out mm. so he said that he threw it out himself mm. saw it in the, the trash, trash bin and then the next day he came home from school and it was like on their dinner table like perfectly fine and then he said that every time he tried to get rid of it it would just keep showing up oh my god and it's like that. uh like, so yeah, when I, I mean, see people, like, make them and, like, play them, I'm like, oh. I can't. <laughs> it, I'm not going to go out of my way to, like, even if it's not real, yeah. I don't want to find out. Yeah. Like, what if it is? Like, I what if out of our that. luck, like, it, we ha- especially if we do it at your house? <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the update on my house. <laughs> the other day, I didn't see it again, but I trust Matt. I don't think he's lying about this. <laughs> he said that... um. He was laying on the couch, which is, like, kind of parallel to the stairs. Mm -hmm. And Freddie was laying by the stairs, and he just, like, kind of got up a little abruptly Mm -hmm. and walked to Matt with his tail down looking at the stairs. And it's like, baby, you know what they say about dogs? That they could sense stuff like that. So, I don't know. (laughs) I'm hoping that it's, like, you know, like, one of Matt's relatives. Yeah. And not, like... Anything. I don't think it's anything bad because I feel like if it was, it would have done sh- more something yeah. by now. Yeah. Because I've, I mean, I've lived there for like two years already. Mm-hmm. So, and they've lived there for a while. So, yeah, I think it sh- should be fine. <laughs> it should be fine, right? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody played the Ouija board in their house, right? Uh, yeah, no. no that's no, no, a, no. And that's what I'm scared of because Matt said he would. And I said, not in, not in our house. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'd be too scared. I know freaking Matt and Derek would do that. 
I'm like, you know, go find a home. Go do it in the park or something <laughs> <laughs> away from here. <laughs> okay, so there's, there was this specific book uh, in the Goosebumps series. It was called Under the Sink or something like that. Mm. And it was the family moved into this new house and they found a sponge under because I think they had they were going to clean it or clean the house or something. So the parents told that one of the kids, hey, go find like some cleaning supplies. Um, so they went to the I think it was a kitchen sink and there was a sponge and apparently it would it brought bad luck or something like that mm. where bad like bad things started happening. And it ended up being one of those sponges that grew as more bad things would happen oh but then the way they solve the story is as long as you praise and like don't give in to like that negative energy it won't grow mm. and i don't know why i found that so creepy as yeah because i would read this like back in elementary school why i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but i don't know that specific story stuck out to me and i finally saw the episode on i think it's on netflix or wherever it's at mm. and it's so cheesy. I was like, really? This is what I was scared of? Okay. <laughs> but then again, in my head, yeah. I, I, I I guess I would. Your imagination as a kid always makes things worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the, when I saw it, I was like, it's not bad. Foolish child. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so another one that I remember a lot was aliens. Because growing up, I remember aliens was a big thing. Mm -hmm. Especially. Specifically, I remember this uh, show. I don't know if you may have heard of it, but it was called Christina. And it was mm -hmm. like a talk show. talk Yeah, like a talk show. And she was interviewing people who claimed that they got abducted. Mm -hmm. And even one lady said that they that the alien had sex with her or something like that. I was like, what the? <laughs> and it was like such a big thing because, you know, we didn't have like... It was just coming up. Mm -hmm. Like now, now that I think about it, I'm like... She probably made that shit up, you know? <laughs> yeah. But also, it's creepy to think that there is things. Like, I I truly believe that there's some kind yeah, of other, other, like, beings. maybe not, like, the green little aliens, aliens. that we, we think of. But I for sure there's, like, other living creatures out there. Like, it's foolish to think that there's only us, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I remember when uh, Tom DeLong from Blink-182... Where he started like saying that he believed in this and he started mm -hmm. doing like all the like whatever company he has, like I forgot what it's called. And he's proved like they've proven that some of the stuff have that there is aliens out yeah. there. And I'm like, that is so crazy. Like I'm sure the government has captured oh, yeah. something. Mm -hmm. And I would love to like see what it, you know, mm -hmm. what it is, what it looks like. Is it really what you know, it, the like, stereotype yeah. of a green, big yeah. eye, no nose, little little mouth kind like, of um, creatures. Your it's your drop head. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, who came up with that yeah. image, right? <laughs> like, huh. Yeah. I've only met one person who claimed that they had, like, mm. seen something like that. It was um one of my friend's moms from middle school. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I believe her, though, because, like, no offense to her, but she wasn't like in her right mind mm -hmm. like now that i like my mom was not really like me hanging out with her oh, okay. like at her house now i see why because she was like high or drunk all the time oh wow! and so mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> and so when she was telling us about it isn't big bear and we we're passing like one of the lakes mm -hmm. she's like yeah it was right here it was like i don't know how many years ago mm -hmm. she's like right there in the sky and like i was like okay <laughs> like, why are you telling me this right now yeah um <laughs> Let's go home, please. <laughs> Midnight. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. But aliens, I don't know. I don't think I was ever scared of them. I th I think that there is something out there mm. like that, too. And I like hearing all the fun conspiracies. Like, um, I know. What is it? When people are like, yeah, Neil Armstrong was the first one to land on the moon. What's his name and initial backwards? <laughs> Alien. <laughs> Another one I could think of is... The movie Dead Silence. Okay. The, the puppet. Okay. I was scared of puppets for a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the ventriloquist ones. Oh, uh, they some of them are They're very scary. And that looking. movie, I don't know. If a scary movie involves an old person, I always feel bad for the old person. Mm -hmm. And it like, I don't know. I've always been like that. Mm -hmm. And I think that one has like an old lady in it. But yeah, ever since then, ventriloquist dolls, they still freak me out. Oh. Like, I think just dolls in general, like those creepy doll people. The porcelain who, ones. Oh, I cannot do it. Like it just freaks me out because I just feel like 
And because their eyes always watch you, no matter like where exactly. you're walking. Like posters too. I remember I had, I had a Jonas Brothers poster in my room. And I would like walk around my room and be like, it's still looking at me. <laughs> how did I do that? Huh? So I wonder how that like, how is it, it happens our perspective like that? that we feel like? I, mean, I, I would assume if it's like, if you're looking directly into the camera, mm-hmm. then maybe because then wherever you're looking at it from, it's they're looking at mm-hmm. the camera. So. Oh, no, I'm looking at the camera. Where am I looking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Some of these, maybe, I think maybe that's why I don't watch scary movies mm. because I don't want to have these fears <laughs> again. <laughs> like, I just remember, like, one of the movies that I will, that I stand out that I like watching that is, like, a scary movie is The Wrong Turn. Mm. For whatever reason, I don't I don't know what is it about it. I just remember watching it at school in middle school. Why we were watching that, I don't know. Um, but I really enjoyed it, and I was mm-hmm. like, "Huh, what's yeah. wrong with me?" <laughs> I think it's a lot of because wrong turn. That's with like the crazy people, right? Mm-hmm. The yeah, yeah. I know a lot of people that like watching those kinds of movies because which is weird because that stuff can actually happen. Yeah, but they don't like watching like ghosts and paranormal mm-hmm. stuff because the chances of that happening that's compared true. to it, it's like that's true. They do. I feel like it's easier. And I, but I, and I think another reason why I don't care for scary movies is because of suspense. Mm-hmm. I get really antsy <laughs> where I'm like, okay, just ha- it happened already because mm-hmm. I, it just, I'm the build up. I hate it. I'm just like, I want to hurry up. I want to see Judy watch Hereditary. Have you seen that? Mm-mm. No, it's a really like good one. See, like you'll... even the the like shows that we watch that are like suspenseful, or even movies that are just suspenseful, not even scary. Mm-hmm. Like I will be like going like that to Derek and like just freaking <laughs> out because I'm like, oh my god, something's gonna happen, something's gonna happen, and I'm just like, all right, chill out, Judy, relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. but that's just a few things. I'm sure there's more. Obviously, there's more because I can't remember what I thought of. <laughs> <laughs> you remember after? I probably will. <laughs> but um, yeah. Let us know if you guys have any childhood fears that have traveled with you mm-hmm. as you grow mm-hmm. or any of them just as kids. Or any spooky things that have happened. Like yeah, why you too. why you got that fear. Because maybe it, it you stemmed know. from something that actually mm-hmm. happened. I know. Yeah. So let us know. Our Instagram is at two girls on a mic. And we didn't say our hot take. Our hot take is like. <laughs> It's okay to have fears. Yeah. Even if it may seem irrational to you, like to somebody else, like maybe like for me, it's clowns. And she's like, why the hell are you? But it's like, okay, so that's yeah. my fear, not yours, right? Relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause I know that there's a lot of people that, especially when it comes to like paranormal stuff and like supernatural stuff, mm-hmm. they don't believe it. Right. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, maybe that's you, mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm going to believe it and right. stay away from it. <laughs> But yeah, so I think that's our hot take for that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thank you guys for listening. I already said the Instagram. Ours are down below. And with that being said, we'll see you on the next one. (laughs) Bye. Yeah, Coincidence? I think not. (laughs) I don't know how people in Florida or Australia do it. Mm. (laughs) I'm going to say, I've seen those Australian uh, spiders. Yeah. Those cute, where they just hang out. I'd be (laughs) like, uh, I am selling this house. I have like a runny nose and I'm too scared to wipe it. Oh, I'm I'm black. Oh my God, I just had it and I forgot it. (laughs) And I didn't write it down. Oh no. Um, Whatever.